Hey guys, welcome back, Gun and Fan, and today we are looking at this guy. What was that? I am a gun. Okay, so, well, oh, man, I feel rough. <laughs> I've got uh, some sort of cold or flu or something and a migraine, but I wanted to get a video out for you guys. So here we are. This was sent over to me from Mecha Hanger. Link in the description below. Um, more about that later and how you can save some money. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. Um, so yeah, this is the God's Guardian Gawain, which is part of the Round Table Knights. Um, I think there's a bunch of kits coming out from SNAA which are a range of figures um, or kits, model kits that are based on a theme, um, much like what Hamoxilin are doing at the moment um, with a team. Uh, I can't remember what that one's called, but there's a range of, of model kits from Hamoxilin, so they're kind of doing a similar sort of thing. We might see that from as a trend from other companies as well. Um, it's a good idea um, because they can they can base all of their stuff off of the same inner frame um, and give you like a range of kits for a good shelf presence um, for a little army build uh, and it's a good it's a good way of doing it. Um, kind of like what Bandai did with with Freedom um, with those um, I can't remember what they're called now, but you know what I mean. That team <coughs> was it Jins. Or, or something, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, I can't remember. So we're looking at this today. Um, this is the Gwain. And it comes in a very, very nice, quite heavy box. Um, it's very, very nice. Well, 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 um, well presented. And these are, these are great looking little kits. Um, in 1144 scale. So it's kind of like in line with real grades, high grades, entry grades, etc. Um, so, you know, if you do have a collection that's only in that scale, uh, this will slide in real nice. It comes with effect parts, which is really nice, blades and uh, movement effects, wing effects. Oh, God, I, I, feel, like, I feel like absolute trash. <laughs> uh, but I am here. Um, I'm going to try and stream as well today because uh, I didn't stream yesterday. Uh, yeah, so anyway, enough of that. I don't know too much about it other than that. Um, this was sent over um, by Mecha Hanger as part of some stream building content, uh, with, which was a, a supported box that arrived the other day. Um, there's some other bits and pieces in there that I can go over on this channel. Uh, but if you want to see any of this stuff being built, um, head on over to my Twitch, Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, where I will be building these things. Um, I also do giveaways and that sort of stuff on the Twitch channel. So, without further ado, um, let's open the box and see what's inside. All right. This is a very nice box as well, by the way. I love boxes that have this like, matte finish. I'm not really a fan of glossy box artwork. Um, matte is always my favourite preference. Um, very nice box art as well. And I like the fact that it has its own vibe. Um, I can't think of anything that r it reminds me of. Um, possibly some sort of Caliban shoulders. Um, maybe Witch from Mercury in style, possibly. But it's it's definitely not. Oh, it's based off of this. So there are the wings. Very, very nice. Very nice effect parts. Bandai would charge you separate from them on P Bandai stuff. Some nice, um, like, I'll say like a baby blue, but it's got a bit of grey in there. Uh, speaking of grey, it's more like an earth colour, like a grey brown. Very nice. Uh, this is like an off white and a really nice warm orange. I like that. I like that a lot. This, the, 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 the color palette that they've chosen for this, I approve. It's very nice. You can't go wrong with these colors. Um, like an earthy, light brown, gray, orange, and off white. I, I just, it just, it just pops. 
some inner frame parts and it is undergated as well yep it's all undergated the proof that you can do this stand by you can you can undergo that like, yeah yeah all undergated where it needs to be for a clean up finish. Bandai, you need to start doing this. I'm sorry, not sorry, but. Um, so this is like, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It's not a gold um, by any means, but it is like that mustardy sort of uh, plastic that Bandai loves using. Um, this would, it would do well if you used to cut all these out and prime these in black and then just go over them with some sort of metallic. Um, it would, it would, uh, it would accentuate this kit. And I think this would be a quick paint job as well. Um, it's got some good scribing, good molding detail. Very, very sharp, very clean. And like I say, the undergating is everywhere. It's very, very well made. And the plastic feels really good. And there's a lot more um, effect parts or uh, translucent colours than I, than I realised, actually, because there's obviously some in the mobile suit as well. And the book, booklet. It comes with water slides as well. Nice. You know, if only Bandai gave us more water slides and not stickers. Come on now. Or both. Put the stickers in there and water slides. So, you know, if kids don't want to do the water slides, and um, you know, they could put the stickers on. Stickers are rubbish. They're rubbish. Yes, it takes more effort to put the water slides on, but they look better. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so we've got a colour book. Um, but the instructions are black and white. Um, well, I suppose black and white. It's got red on there, so you can see what parts go where, so it's nice and clear. It's not convoluted. It's very, very simple. Um, so you can understand what go, how goes, what goes where, how, where better could have. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a very, very simple build, very quick. And I would say very, very quick to paint as well. Uh, the part count is probably in the range of a real grade. Um, although there is no um, MS joint uh, pre-molded uh, nonsense. So you don't have to worry about any sort of ABS. That's a very, very nice... Um, style of pose to choose when it comes to the the water slide placement and stuff like that and a lot of the um water slides are like accents um which break up like wider surfaces and stuff like a lot of people would would consider scribing um but as a good um what's the word cheat or hack i guess to break up um bulk, like big bulk, big wide surfaces is to put water slide decals on there if you're not into scribing. So it's a good alternative uh, for breaking up those surfaces. And there we are. So you do get to build this inner frame, which kind of has an MS joint um, vibe to it. Um, so I do believe that these parts might be ABS, uh, the gold. Um, well, I say gold, it's not gold. It's a very, very cat pukey sort of colour so it would do you um well to paint those uh so it's like a more vivid gold i guess uh but yeah there are some promo shots uh, much like you find on the box and the parts count are on the outside and a few like tips on how to how to do what you've got to do to get the parts off so yes there we go the good way oh I have struggled to say words today. I am not well. Uh. But there we go. If you want any of these kits, head on over to Mecca Hanger and you can save yourself 10% off by using Gundam Fan um, upon checkout. <coughs> oh dear. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me. Sorry it's a short, um, short and sweet video. Uh, but I'm not feeling very well, but I wanted to get something out for you this week. 
Again, I really appreciate all the support, all of the influx of followers and subscribers and stuff like that. It doesn't take long to click the thumbs up and click the, um, click the subscription button. It's free and it helps me out. And I really appreciate you. Leave comments down below. What's your thoughts on this kit? Have you built it? Um, are you planning on getting it and the rest of the roundtable nights? Uh, if so, let me know. And I will see you next time, guys. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. And as always, I will see you next time. Because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt.